Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Modded Darkest Dungeon. I went ahead and did some changes between now and the last time I recorded. I've lowered most of the creature's crit chances by 1 or 2%. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. And I lowered the Swine Tar's hit points from 75 to 65. We took a huge amount of crits that last dungeon level, and I probably won't have a good feeling for how balanced I now have made things until I do several other level 3s. But, well, I guess we'll find that out together how well we do. So my level 3s are not really ready. Robert Hold and Sister Dawn don't even have level 3 skills or weapons yet. So we need to send out our lower level characters to get us some more deeds. So we can improve our blacksmith. We need 8 more of them, 5 more crests. So let's see what we can do in the well to get us those deeds. Oh, it's like a sun item, but only for the Hellion. Well, this will give us all the deeds we need, plus plenty of crests, at the cost that we have to do 100% of room battles here. Oh, well, or I could try for the Brigandate Pounder. That did not go well last time, did it? Oh, wow. All right, I'm still reeling from that last, from that the last time. Okay. Okay, we'll we'll do it again. We'll try it again. We'll bring Ash with us this time. Peter can come along. Uh, we'll bring Mr. Tents. Look, he doesn't have demons pull. But he has the best might be able to. No, I think he, I don't think I can really stun. That gentleman, but we can use vulnerability hex. He could work as a healer. He has abyssal artillery. Do you have? You have suppressing fire. Okay. Yeah, we will bring Mr. Tents, and then I think we'll bring Harley Win. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to make sure that I am doing that battle itself at above 75 light. And she's faithless, so she's taking a death blow resistance at the moment. Okay, so yeah, we'll take her along with us as well. Do I want to bring... No, I really should bring... Someone different. Actually, I should probably bring... Elizabeth. No, we'll go with this group. Okay. Alright, this is good. Let's go ahead and provision. Our standard long mission, so 20 food. I'm gonna bring plenty of shovels. Two of each of these. Should we bring in next extra anti-venom? I'll bring medicinal herbs, two keys, two holy waters, and seven torches. Most of our cash. This will hopefully give us a good chance to actually do it this time. Simple folk are by their nature loquacious. And the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. Interesting that you can't skip the dialogue. Not that I would normally want to, but... Alright, well, we know where he is. He's in the lower right-hand corner, and I want to be a little greedy, at least, and do some searching of other places. So let's search for a curio, and we'll go, we'll start with this way, because we've got a box. Actually, we're going to leave it here for the return trip. I need the money. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. I've changed the ectoplasm slightly. They should leave corpses again like they used to. Executed with impunity. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. We'll wait on the shrine to our return trip in case I picked up any more stress. 
I wanted to give the ectoplasms something so that they weren't so easily defeated. I'm hoping that the corpses will do that. Might, might encourage you to at least take someone who could hit the third and fourth rank, rather than just slaughtering down the front rank so quickly. Might have to increase their hit points slightly too. Maybe give them one more hit point. Oh, I should have left that for the return trip. Too late. This expedition at least promises success. In this case, I have a really balanced group. I'm able to hit the front two ranks with these two, the back, uh, the third rank with all three of these guys, and then the final rank with these two, so we shouldn't have any trouble with there being corpses on the field. Let's intimidate to try to put a debuff on these. A devastating blow! We'll try to hit the fungal artillery to try to kill one of them. I'm gonna use Abyssal Artillery. I might hit him for five, which would be enough to have the bleed kill him. Oh god. Marked. when he activates. I'm gonna suppressing fire to try to get a debuff on this fungal scratcher. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Let's try killing the weak one. Give them no quarter. Heal. Need to take a big hit. Let's get a sniper's mark on this fungal scratcher. I can kill the fungal artillery when we activate with our Hellion. Really, a, do anything but put a vulnerability hex on him. Ten percent fraught now. I guess we'll heal. As victories mount, so too will resistance. And the chest. We'll use. Oh, we'll wait till the return trip. It'll be a little darker. Assuming there's a reason for me to go down here. There's a curio. Let's see what it is. Let's take a little bit of stress damage walking backward. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, we've got a thing we can search here. Let's do it. Oh, I like that. I'd rather not give it to you. We'll do that anyway. Your damage isn't actually being affected because of this trinket. So, oh wow, okay. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a great thing to find. That was worth it. That was worth it. Now the question is, do I want to camp before I open the chest? Oh! I left the chest back in the other room, didn't I? I just, I just left. Oh, damn it. <laughs> wow. wow, Tim. Wow, I just showed up there and walked right past it.
concentrate more than I could use the Jade. If we have another food event, I might just skip camping. Stress? No, we're good. We are good. I will just use it normally. Firelight, an uneasy companionship. Let's take the crit bonus. Can I get a deep? Yes, we can. We'll get a stress resistance on our cultist. Who will use dark strength on her? She will reach me her crossbow. And then we'll lower his stress. Oh, that was a very nice saying. I like that. Alright, let's rest. Yes, it sounds like me. Please don't be brigands. Please don't be brigands. Okay. Probably should. I probably should make those guys drop corpses too. Oof! Giant hit from him. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. All right. Let's see if there's a curio down here. There is. We have another up ahead, too. Let's keep moving. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Free cash, basically. Backing up now. Measure awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Not torches, we must well use them to make the battles easier. So far, this is going pretty well, a lot better than the last time we were here. It was going. Thanks to her vendetta, that she's gonna do so much damage. We'll try the dog. Get rid of that disease.
remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'm not going to risk the coffin. I don't want the stress. Bad gambler, discarded pack. Oh, I gotta add stuff like that to it. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Oh, he's supposed to keep that stuff. He's not supposed to let me take it. That's a bug. So, to stay in theme... Well, I'm just gonna leave it, because he's, he was supposed to keep that. Alright, I have to figure out why he didn't keep it. Maybe it's only known cheat that I said he'd keep it. Bad gambler means he would take it, but he's supposed to keep that loot as well. I want there to be a good reason for you to try to get rid of Bad Gambler. Nice. Oh, way to counteract being hit by that. Mock their attempt. We have a key. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I could use both of them. Uh, yeah, I could use both of them more than the jades. Oh, please tell me brought shovels. I did, right? Yes. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. I have yet to do this fight since this latest patch came out. It's not too far away from the 8-pounder, so we will consider this if I do not take much damage from the 8-pounder. We we'll, might, might give that a try. Glittering gold... Trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Lots of these today. Crests. Well, oh, we'll drop a single anti venom. Which actually, I'm beginning to think about it, is a mistake because I could have used it against this creature if we decided to come back for him. Trap in this hallway? Maggots! Lots of maggots. need a torch if I want to do the crazy creature, the Shambler. We have no other bandages that can stay here. Above 75. That will do it for that one quirk. Oh, I didn't realize I gave a speed bonus to Photomania. That's kind of awesome. Oh, none of my people have it. Oh, because that was, oh, that's right, it was on my Gravedigger. Okay, so we've got one torch, just in case I want to do this battle at the end of this one. Let's see how well we do here, though. That will determine if I'm going to go back and try to fight the Shambler. Oh, 
That guy has to die each and every round. If I get the chance, I, I will do do so. I will attack him every round. I can't debuff the cannon. Let's heal. In case I get shanked or something. Just exactly what I said. And then we have to hit the cannon a little. We'll do so. Oh, he's on the very final spot. He has to die each and every time. Oh, I didn't change the cannon in any other way, by the way. He's exactly the same. Only the matchmaker, huh? A powerful blow! Holy crap! Awesome! Oh, poor guy. can't stun it. I didn't bring any other real attacks, so just heal. It's gonna be a very slow crawl through this cannon. Did drop corpses before? I think they did during this fight, didn't they? Corporal heal. Now this is gonna be painfully slow. Holy crap. I didn't really want to touch the cannon, but maybe I should lower its hit points a little? I don't know. Well, we've won this fight. Barring a horrible miss, multiple misses on the match on the matchmen. I don't want to use hands from the abyss. It's only gonna do one point of damage. A singular strike. I would love to attack the cannon and put some real damage on it, but I need the match the matchman to die each and every time. She has to go after him every time if she goes first. Yeah, this is this is one. This is gonna take forever to shoot through the cannon.
Oh wow. She put that buff on herself and then she missed a lot. This is like so. This is taking too long for what this is, right? Does it feel that way for you? Although to be fair, I I am gonna win this fight. I, I should hopefully again, barring missing the matchmake matchment several times. So I don't know. If no, we should leave the cannon alone. I do feel he's got too much protection at at this point. Ooh, we missed. Oh no. Okay, okay. If we take too much damage here, though, we won't be doing the Shambler. The fourteenth match, match, matchman out here, and you see that all other thirteen matchmen get a bolt stuck to their head. <laughs> you probably wouldn't want to run out there. Probably. Alright, one more round will do it. Lots of stuff, including another torch. How about that? Okay, we don't need the shovels. We could definitely use the money. If I'm gonna do the fight against the Shambler, then I will probably want medicinal herbs. We won't take the key. We could definitely use the cash. We can fit the portrait. Fit the crests. I don't need anything else. Maybe this is based on the number of rounds you went, which is why you always get so much treasure against the cannon. I didn't see anything like that though in the files, but I might have missed it. All right, we're gonna keep this. This is what we're keeping. Let's try the shambler. You can always try to run if it goes very badly for me. not fought in the Shambler at all in this pa in the Corpse and Hound patch or Hound and Corpse. So to my knowledge, the only thing I did was remove the corpses from him. Like he won't drop a corpse like he used to. I don't think his tentacles drop corpses to begin with. But this will be new for me. I do not know what this fight is like. If it looks like it's going to go badly, we will try to run. All right. Here we go. Secrets 
and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Well, maybe I lowered his protection as well. I need to get into position. We are horribly out of position. Oh, that's right. I did add that. Stuns. His friend isn't. I have to get lucky to kill it. And he's just gonna resummon another one. the tide turns. Wow, we're gonna lose someone right here. We have to flee. Oh, well, we, we won't, but it's not looking good for us. every time while Mark's still on him. Money. At least we can sell it. We don't need those. We'll take this. We don't need the food. Take that, and we're done. All right. No level threes, which I'm glad. Looks like we I don't think he reached the level two either. I think Mr. Tense was level two. All oh, the yips on a leper. That's bad. Fear of beasts. Can't I blame you after what we just fought? This is the spot which is going to go away, and he earned an early riser. Warren's foe. Wow, all sorts of horrible negative quirks and lurker, which is kind of uh, could be useful in a situation like this, but otherwise not so good. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Al Rashid engaged in pleasures of the flesh and recovered 81. I'm, I'm going to skip that. Al-Rashid recovered 81 stress. Kim Plague Bloom is on a hot streak and refuses to leave the gambling hall. She also recovered 86 stress. Lord Kilaslin has left in search of a holy vision. Recovered 86 stress. Samuel cured bulimic. Sir Simon Fell has cured zoophobia. Mr. Tense is now level 2. Alright, so Mr. Tense. Get some upgrades to level two stuff right now. 
And now comes stress resistance, a stress removal, a negative quirk curing. Simon fell. You can go ahead and have a drill. Yes, you can have a drink. Mr. Tense. He needs stress resistance, but I actually want him to have this is the spot removed first. Sure, we'll give this to our Houndsmaster. That will counteract the damage penalty for this. I'm just going to sell this because I don't care about 30% stress heal while camping. That is garbage. That is utter garbage. <laughs> I'm going to need to tweak some of those, I think. Actually, you know what? That could have been useful. I'm sorry. I could have been useful on an occultist because then... Because he's going to take lots of stress, so in camping that might have been useful, but I disagree with the entire quirk slot dedicated to it. I'd much rather have the 7,000 bucks. Oh, it's a shame, actually, because now I sent him in here. I should have done something different first. All right, so Samuel the Grey, you are still recovering from your last horrible mission. Why don't you go pray? Peter has the yips. I no, don't want him to have that. I think he'll also lock Precise Striker. I thought we gained at least one disease, didn't we, while we were in there? Oh, maybe not? Thought we did. Nope, I am lying. Does anyone have any diseases? No! Really? Oh well, okay. Does anyone else need stress recovery? Conic could probably use a little. Oh! Oh! He has love interest. I don't want to spend a thousand bucks to get rid of 20 stress. So we won't. Alright, we'll, we have some money. I have some time. No, actually, I don't have time. I really should go. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. When we come back, we will, I guess, do another mission. Hopefully, I'll be able to... Oh, yeah, I'll be able to upgrade the blacksmith. A sharper sword. A stronger shield. Anything to prolong a soldier's life. So we can actually buy some level 3 armor and skills for people. We'll probably be low on cash, but we'll just have the people we need in order to do another mission another level 3 mission and figure out what that's like. So, I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching.